Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mego Museum's Mint Off Card. I am Brian, your host, and we've got a twofer this week in the form of the upcoming Mego Corporation Star Trek Strange New Worlds Captain Pike and Mr. Spock. That was a lot to say. Thanks to the generosity of the folks at Mego Corporation, I have an early look at what should be arriving in the next 60 days in North America and Canada. And these are highly anticipated, and I'm going to confide that Strange New Worlds is actually a Star Trek show that works for me. I have not seen a Star Trek show that has made me a fan in a very, very long time. However, this one just works for me, and I watched the entire first season, which is something I really can't say for any show with the Star Trek name on it in the last 30 years. I just have never been on board. Tee So this is going to be a lot of fun for me. And also, at the end of the show, I'm going to do a contest and give these two figures away and some other merch. So please stay tuned to that. Now, Mego has done a Christopher Pike before. Uh, they did it for the Star Trek Discovery line. Uh, I didn't pick that one up because I really hadn't watched any Discovery with Pike in it. But now I'm a, f a fan of the character, and I love this new take on him using his green relax shirt, which he did use in the series. And I also appreciate the updated uh, salt and pepper hair. As, as There's a lot of memes about Anson Mount's hair. <laughs> Uh, the other character, of course, is Mr. Spock. Uh, we are no strangers to Mr. Spock on the channel. However, this is the first action figure of Ethan Peck as Mr. Spock. The guy had some pretty big shoes to fill, and I think he's done a great job. I really enjoy his interpretation of Spock. It doesn't bother me. I just accept it for what it is, and uh, it, and it really works. The first thing you might notice about the card art is it's new, and what a welcome change. I've not been fond of Paramount's style guide of the last couple of years. It was just kind of needed color and a little bit of style. And while this is a vast improvement, I, I still think they could push a little further. But it does inject some much needed color into these cards. I love that new Star Trek universe uh, logo that kind of harkens back a little bit to the motion picture poster. I noticed that Playmates is using it as well. I hope Mego can somehow integrate portraits into their cards because uh, that would really make them pop. Uh, otherwise, though, I, I have to say it's a vast improvement over what we've had. Looking on the back, there's been a redesign. And again, nice. <laughs> Uh, really, really nice, uh, you know, centered images of the characters and a real line look. And that that looks swell to me. Um, there's been a revised uh, Marty Abrams bio on the back that uh, looks all futuristic. And we still have credits. And I'm just going to read off the credits for Pike. The paint master was Gary Cornelia. The sculptor was Tyler Ham, someone I know well. And the seamstress was Rachel Baker. On Spock, the paint master was my friend Tom King, who does great work. The sculptor was Igor Poruk. I hope I said that right, Igor. And the seamstress, again, is Rachel Baker, who really does her trek well. My overall assessment of these card backs is they are a vast improvement. They pop. I welcome them with open arms. And, you know, while I think that I still would like to see Migo lean towards more of a portrait card. I think a lot of us like that sort of thing. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you don't. This is so much better that I'll take it. <laughs> it just looks great. So, as much as I'm, I'm raving about these cards, the show's called Mintoff Card. So, I'm going to take these guys off their bubbles. I'm going to do a silly, silly montage with dad jokes. And then I'll tell you what I think of the figures. And talk about the contest. Hang tight.
let me give you my thoughts. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that the new bandless bodies are really winning me over. They have a really nice energy to them. They're still a little stiff when you first get them, so just be really gentle with them. Uh, but otherwise, I have no issue with them, and they, they kind of remind me of Hyper Heroes from Medicom, which I was a really big fan of back in the 90s. But, you know, uh, Hyper Heroes didn't cost $20, and Migos do, so that's great. Um, having a little bit of trouble with Pike's knees, but they're not broken. I think they're just a little stiff. Now, I don't have an original Strange New Worlds Pike uh, to compare this to, but I remember that Pike had a little bit of a large head. Uh, this one seems like it's slightly smaller, like it's been done via a new process. It's not squishy, and I, I feel like they reduced it a bit. It's a terrific likeness, and one thing I really do like about this kind of like new process they're doing for the heads is it seems to retain a lot more detail. Like, I find this guy particularly striking. He would make a really cool uh, custom Mr. Fantastic. You'd have to paint the hair, but a ditto on the Spock likeness. I mean, you know this isn't supposed to be Nimoy, but it's not supposed to, and it does resemble Ethan Peck quite well, and I really like the profile on it tailoring on the outfits is really nice i like the fabric they're using it's quite thin which allows for more of an illusion of real garments the uh insignias are actually hard plastic which gives it a really nice feel and i noticed that they've gone away from the stickers for the bands and they've done kind of like a, a silk screen i guess and that looks really interesting i, I kind of like that because it's more realistic for the scale um migo has <laughs> recycled the trusty blue phaser and communicator we all know as kids uh they rock in this gray though and you know i honestly can't remember what the designs for the phaser and the communicator look on this series there's nothing more iconic than the original 60s and that just kind of that's like a typical migo thing to do and those are the kind of things i like as i've mentioned before i like a little clunk in my toys and these are really nice replicas of the characters but adding that little you know, foot in the past is, is welcome for me. Uh, overall, I, I really think these are a step in the right direction. And if this is the future of how Amigo is going to tackle, you know, not only Star Trek, but other properties, well, I welcome it. I really like the little touches. Gives it a nice little detail. Feels higher priced than it is. Yeah, I, I think this is a real win-win. Uh, I, you know, I, like I said, I'm not a hyper-realism guy in toys. But this is a nice balance where it looks like Amigo, but a really nice Amigo. That's why I kind of likened it to the Hyper Heroes. All right, let's get down to the contest. I'm going to give these two figures away to the person I pick who both likes this video and comments. And you can just basically tell me your favorite Star Trek episode. I mean, it doesn't matter what series. It doesn't matter what era. Uh, just tell me your favorite Star Trek episode in the comments. I will randomly select a winner for this lot next Friday on uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I will also select a runner-up and a third prize who will each receive uh, their choice of collectible pin from the Plaid Stallion store. We have about 20 designs there right now, and one could be yours free. So, like the video, tell me your favorite Star Trek episode ever in the comments, and you're in, and it's worldwide. So that's all the time I have for Mint Off Card this week. Thank you, as always, for joining me. If you are new to this, please consider hitting like and subscribe. This is what we do. Uh, if you're not new to this, please consider sharing it, and please take part in the contest. Uh, that's what it's there for. Until next time, folks, be well. Buy what you like. Cheers.